Player of the Month for August and hailed as a game changer. What a return it's been back here at Borussia Dortmund for us. We got off to an incredible start last episode. Welcome back everyone today. I hope you are doing very, very well. We have quite the episode for you. Today we take on Bayern Munich and Juventus, both at the Signal Iduna Park with an away trip to Stuttgart to face them up first. Before all that though, we do have to show you how we got on in the post-commentary matches because there's been a few and as you can see, there's been goals. Let's take a look at those now. So we have 12 goals to show you across three matches, starting with a European Championship qualifier with England. We've topped the group. The result does not mean anything for us. We cannot be caught, but I still wanted to try and win the match. And Harry Kane started things off by finding our first goal. He then turned provider to set up Delhi, who found England second. And we had our third in the second half when Ben Chilwell's pass down the line. We raced onto it, put the cross towards the back post. And there was Mason Mount, who on the first time of asking, saw his shot saved by the goalkeeper. But then he put the rebound into the empty net for an England victory. So, yeah, we got our three points there. We also had to play Finland, but I was not selected, so we had to sim it, a 1-1 draw, and that finishes the European Championship qualifying group. So we are in the Euros for the end of this season, and of course, we want to try and win it. That's the aim for the last season here, not only with Dortmund, but to win something with England. And speaking of Dortmund, we took on Mainz for our first of two Bundesliga matches we have to show you as post-commentary. Jaden Sancho starting things off with the goal there to get us the lead. And then not too long later, Sanusi in down the left-hand side, pulling the ball back to me. We play the ball out here to Lo Celso. He goes to Haaland, a 1-2, then a cross goal. A lovely Dortmund move to make sure the ball was in the net. Transfer news as well, Declan Rice leaving Wolfsburg to go to Hertha Berlin. So still in the Bundesliga. But uh, yeah, at a rival, you could say, of Wolfsburg. Sancho grabs his second to make it 3-0 Borussia Dortmund before a fourth was found. Sanusi in possession, finding Suchek. He plays it to me and you can see we play the pass to Haaland. First time, pulls it back on the left foot. Second time to finish it, to make it 4-0. As if the win was ever in doubt. And before we do go into our last of the post-commentary matches... Quick look at the Champions League group that has been drawn. We've got Juventus, Sporting CP and Dynamo Kiev. They are the three sides that we will face to try and get through our group. So not a easy group by any means, but it's one that, you know, you would still look at and think that we are favourites, especially if you want to go and win the Champions League this season. You've got to play against the best and the group is not easy, but we'll take it game by game. Dynamo Kiev was the first side that we will face. And we got, apparently, an amazing goal to start things off here. They just stepped off us, allowed us the time. We picked our spot, the top corner, and we found it to give Dortmund the lead. One more look at the goal here from this angle, and you can see the goalkeeper was never really going to get there. But honestly, I'm not sure that was really in the corner. So, you know, maybe he should have done better. And I'll be honest as well about this one. The fortune here was massive. Uh, I mistimed my tackle completely. I did not mean to read the pass there. It just so happened the player went to play the pass the same way that I mistimed my tackle and we intercepted the ball. So, yeah, it was quite funny seeing that one, but it was 2-0 anyway. Hala made it three. First time it was blocked. Second time finished with 15 minutes to go. Dynamo Kiev just really waiting for the full-time whistle, but there was still time for things to get worse. Eight minutes from time, again, Haaland charging towards goal. Thought maybe he'd go himself. It was a heavy touch, which enticed the goalkeeper to sort of step out towards the ball. And he played it across for a debut goal for Martins Alves before a fifth was found. Haaland again involved, finding me. Off to Sancho. Sancho made it five. And that, my friends, moves us on into the live portion of today's episode. Sit back, relax, and hopefully enjoy. And now that you've seen the goals, it's time to jump straight into the episode. As you see, we are two points clear of Bayern with them to play later. But Stuttgart are the first team that we are facing. They're in seventh. Of course, we want to start with a victory. We're away at their place. That's the lineup for us. 
It's a strong team. Can we get the three points? Let's find out. Salasu looks forward to me, and it's a great ball as well from him. We will play this out to Sanusi on the left-hand side. He's got runners in the box to aim at from Dortmund. Haaland and Sancho both in there. Instead, he goes to Asun Chiao, who now plays it to me. There's the ball out wide to Lo Celso. Into Sancho. It really should have been Dortmund in front, but the chance is still here as Haaland goes for goal. Blocked in the box from Stuttgart, and they get away from it with player now able to play the ball down the left-hand side. And all of a sudden, here comes Scherlinoff for Stuttgart. And if I remember recently, they did actually play against Bayern and gave them a bit of a tough match. So, yeah, the way this one started, well, they got fairly fortunate. They were able to stay in this at 0-0 with Sancho's effort being saved by the goalkeeper. But this might be a difficult match for us. 15 minutes left to play here. Stuttgart nil, Dortmund nil. Bayern found a late winner when they faced Stuttgart and Dortmund looking like they might have to do the same. Brilliant feat here from Hazard. We tried to play a quick one too. And unfortunately, it was the wrong decision made by me. Stuttgart have dealt with most things that Dortmund have thrown their way today. The best chance we had was Sancho's in the first half. We nearly steal back possession there, but are unable to do it and play a Calmly holds on to it. We've still got time, though. We have still got time to create something else. Hazard forced to just clear the ball, though. And this is the other thing, though. Stuttgart have had their moment. Speaking of which, 10 minutes to go. Stuttgart 1, Dortmund 0. A complete collapse in concentration. A massive gap opened up in defence. And Stuttgart take fully, full advantage of it. I mean, do you know what? We can't even be annoyed about the fact that that's gone in because we haven't deserved to win. You could argue a nil-nil draw would have been a fair result here. But Nate potentially has just won the game for Stuttgart with nine minutes to play. Lammers towards player blocked by Salasu and he's forced to try and send it long. Dortmund do not have the time. There I was saying we still had time to create a chance for ourselves. Well, so did Stuttgart. It finishes Stuttgart 1. Borussia Dortmund nil, and for the first time this season, it's a slip-up of the biggest margins from Borussia Dortmund. And as you can see, with that result, Bayern have jumped into first. A point ahead of us, they must have won their match, taking full advantage of our slip-up. And we now go to face them in a game that before I would have probably taken a point. Now we want the win from the Sigler Duna Park. It's Dortmund against Bayern. I'll remember to change my squad number and then I'll see you in the match. Team news is in and there are the two lineups that go head to head in this one. We need the three points if possible. Richarlison and David Neres, two players to watch out for in this Bayern starting 11. We've got to try and find our rhythm, our fluidity because we were lacking it in that first match. You have those games, though, where things just don't quite go your way. You try and get that one goal to win it, and sometimes it happens. Other times, it goes exactly the way it did against Stuttgart, but we need to be back on form here for this one. Richarlison holding up the play well for Bayern, but a great challenge from Jimenez wins it back for Dortmund. He plays it into our path, and we hold on to it really well as well, but there's no real pass forward, so we'll look to... Restart if possible, and you can see that they're doing a really good job of getting players in and around us. But what a ball that is from Socek through to Haaland. Straight at the goalkeeper, though, for Dortmund's number nine. And got to be doing better with a chance like that. Quickly approaching half-time here. The score still nil-nil. And only right now, Dortmund with the chances to tell you about as we do play the ball through to Sancho. He's onside, Jadon Sancho, but his shot is weak. And Dortmund, they're having their moments, but we're just not quite as clear-cut in front of goal as we were last episode. As a heavy touch from me this time takes the ball away. There's been a couple of uncharacteristic mistakes today. We had a couple against Stuttgart as a team, and we're having them again here against Bayern, who've offered not really a lot in the way of chances, but they are growing into the half. Here is Ben Bala for Bayern. They've started the second half off really well, looking lively. We do win back possession, but you can see there's not really a lot going on in front of us from Haaland and Sancho in the ways of runs. So there's the ball back. Now Haaland will get it. Played out to Sanusi, who gives it back to me. We have got Haaland through. Oh, what an interception from Kanate. If that ball goes through, Haaland is clear one-on-one. -on -one. That is exceptional defending. Full time here at the Signal Iduna Park. 
Dortmund, nil. Bayern, nil. Couple of bumps in the title road. We can't let it get to us. It was a game of nearly moments. Canate's interception, the play of the game. Because if that pass goes through to Haaland, surely he finishes it for Dortmund 1, Bayern 0. So far, in terms of results, not what we were hoping for from our live matches. We have a chance to improve, though, as we face Juventus in our second Champions League group stage match. We won our first against Dynamo Kiev. There's the two lineups for you. Let's see how we get on here. And there'll also be another match to follow this. Both teams able to win their first matches in the group stage. So whoever wins this will take control of the group if there is to be a winner here today. And you've not yet seen a live goal, which I would love to get right here in this attack as we are into the Juventus penalty area. Looking to put it back on the left foot. Now chip it in. Looking for Asensio, who does get his header towards goal. And Livakovic just watches it into his hands. Here come Borussia Dortmund again, though, with Jadon Sancho through the middle. There is the pass to Sancho, who finds Haaland. Haaland will play it to me. The angle is great. The finish is even better. And Borussia Dortmund have the first live goal of the episode. Get in. Nice, much more like it. Wonderful move. We play it to Sancho. He plays it towards Haaland, who has the knowledge just to slide it into our path. It's a great position to be in as well. All of the goal to aim at. Back across Livakovic. Into the roof of the net. Dortmund take the lead. Haaland, Sancho plays it back to me. We've got 25 minutes left here as we play it out to the right-hand side. Giovanni Lo Celso on the attack for Dortmund. A 1-2 maybe, but instead we pick out Asensio. What a ball that was! Across the face of goal for Haaland to double Dortmund's advantage. And that, my friends, should wrap up the three points in this one. I'll be honest, the through ball back was actually meant for Lo Celso, But if it finds the feet of Asensio and he picks out the pass as well as he did, I'm all for it. Haaland is never going to pass up that opportunity. And this is a big, big win for us. Livakovic takes the free kick for Juventus. But as you see, the time is ticking away. And it looks like... Well, I thought Dybala might have been through and the offside flag is raised and it will be a Dortmund free kick as time is over. It's a Dortmund victory. It's our first in a live match today and it's against a good Juventus side. But we have to carry this momentum forward. All right then, it's time for our next match as we face Dusseldorf who are 15th. This is a great opportunity to get back to winning ways. And as you see, Bayern will be playing as well. Maybe today, possibly tomorrow. So we have to really focus on ourselves, get this result. And interestingly enough, we've had nine goals, nine assists in nine matches. All the nines. Will it be three points though, as we take on Dusseldorf? We're away at their place. And you'd like to think it should be three points for Dortmund. Right, well, we've got to defend much better than this. I mean, I j uh, what? What? How does that happen inside four minutes? It's like we just fell asleep. Great start, ladies and gentlemen. Great start. I was sat there kind of in a world of my own for a little bit. And then all of a sudden I realised there's a massive gap there where their number nine's just waltzed into. Vlako Demos sits down way too early. It's not even a great finish. So yeah, really good opportunity to get back to winning ways. Well, 1-0 so far. Sanusi's ball back in, he's brilliant! Yes! Get in, I'll take it all back. It's a great opportunity to get back to winning ways. I know what I'm talking about. Get in, what a goal by the way. Sancho winning that header. Great header back across as well. And to let you know, there is a goal elsewhere. Freiburg won, Bayern Munich nil. So we weren't the only side to get off to a pretty bad start. And thankfully, Jadon Sancho has drawn his level. Celebrated like we've just gone in front. We still have to find another goal to take the lead. That was just the equalizing goal, but yeah, when they scored inside three minutes and the way they scored, I was fearing that this would be one of those games and it still might be. Here is Apple Camp and Ben White's in quickly to win it. Chance of a breakaway for Dortmund if we can move the ball quick enough. We have played Sancho. Over on the right is Asensio. Here he is then. And now we need someone to overlap down the right-hand side. And here is that run. 
Can La Celso keep it in play? Well, he does. And it's actually brilliantly done by Giovanni La Celso. Across the face of goal. Sanusi's there. Dortmund have the lead. And there was so much quality in that. But equally so, it was poor from Dusseldorf. Neither side covering themselves in glory defensively in this one inside 25 minutes. The big headline at the moment is half-time scores. It's still Freiburg 1, Bayern 0. Are they about to drop points and gift us back the top spot in the Bundesliga? That is a great cut back. The first touch, not bad either. Lovato there to block the shot, though. And now Haaland finding Socek. And they've given us a bit too much space here, Freiburg. It looks like it might have taken a deflection, the shot. And it has done, I believe, off of Jadon Sancho for a uh, Dusseldorf goal kick. Nearly said Freiburg goal kick. But at the moment, they're doing us a massive favour by beating Bayern. I will keep you updated if there is to be any more goal news from that one. Here is Marquez for Dusseldorf turning, finding the ball into Applecamp. Bit of space on the edge of the penalty area for him. This guy's passed through to Alex Lopez. And down to his right-hand side is Vlaco Demos. And you can see that shot had some venom behind it. Four minutes remain. Here is Haaland. There's a second goal to tell you about between Freiburg and Bayern. And there's a third to tell you about in this one as Haaland wraps up the three points. But the question is, which way has the goal gone at the Allianz? It's Freiburg. They're two in front. And we are heading back to the top of the Bundesliga as things stand. Erling Haaland with a vicious left-footed shot into the right-hand corner of the goal. Wrapping up the points here for Dortmund with, well, two minutes to play. But more importantly, we have not slipped up. And Bayern look to have, unless they find two incredibly late equalisers. Well, one would be an equaliser. Two incredibly late goals, I should say. Maybe even a third to win it, possibly. Let's not have that happen, though, Bayern. Ben White, Chukweze, Socek into the last minute of injury time. And that will be it, my friends. I'll stay with you just to make sure that they have, in fact, dropped points. And it is a victory here for us. And let's skip through then to find out. And we did end up deserving that win. It was a bit of a shaky start from us. Vlako Demos as well had to make a couple of good saves. But all in all, we were, I'd say, the better team there. Freiburg held on. 2-0 victory. Which, as you're about to see... Well, you won't, actually, because... Is the Champions League. Oh, no, it is. There we go. There's the table. And Freiburg, to their credit, actually, having a great start to the season. Look at them. They're up into second. We do take back top spot, though. 16 points. Goal difference far in favour of us over Freiburg. Bayern dropped back to two points behind us. Stuttgart, who did beat us as well earlier on, in seventh place. But given the way the games have panned out today, I did not expect that that would be how we'd be Top of the league. I thought we'd beat Stuttgart. I thought we might get a draw against Bayern, which we did. Um, but in the end, it's Freiburg we have to thank for the reason that we are top of the Bundesliga. Ladies and gentlemen, that is how we will end today's episode. A massive thank you for watching. If you have enjoyed it, a like would be greatly appreciated. As always, a huge thank you for your support on my channel. I massively appreciate it. Until next time, stay safe. Have a great day. Have a great evening. Take care, everyone. And I'll see you again next time. Adiós.